we're gonna make our way around and over there. All right, we're gonna paint here, looking this way, and uh, we are standing on frozen part of this little creek. Kind of the main river, the Bitterroot River, is just over this, so this is kind of just an offshoot of it. But this is frozen solid. Um, I did get a little close to the edge and stomped and heard a crack, <laughs> but it's not like we're in any danger here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fall through to my neck or anything like that. Just get my feet wet if that worst case. But it's frozen. It's frozen solid. Unfortunately, we're like right near like one of the busiest bridges around here. So Hope you enjoy the natural sounds of the Montana Highway. <clears throat> For this session, I'm really not expecting to work that long on it. Um, this is a, a 20 by 20 or so, 20 something by, it's a square. I'm not sure what it is. Um, but my, my goal isn't to uh, try to do a finished piece in this session. I'm gonna just, uh, even, um, like I'm not gonna squirt any fresh paint out. I'm gonna use whatever's out and just get uh, the loosest suggestion of it on there. And then this next week is supposed to be perfect weather. So I'm gonna plan on coming back and keep developing this, but uh, this is gonna be a quick first session and uh, we'll see where we're at at the end. Here's the scene that I'm going for. It's this little uh, kind of side waters bouncing around back here. Um, this big cottonwood against the blue sky. Um, and it's a square, so I'm gonna crop it maybe here and I don't know, over here or so.
Okay, I'm gonna stop here for the first session. Um, man, there's something about winter that it's it's something about the discomfort of being in the cold, the discomfort of the paint maybe being a little tacky. I don't know what it is, but um, there's something about the experience of painting in this condition that I absolutely love, and I always like what happens in the paintings too. Uh, you know, this thing's not done. Um, I'm gonna come back, you know, tomorrow, maybe more sessions, but there's an immediacy that I grab when I paint in the winter that something about the comfort of other seasons um, doesn't, doesn't force me into this thing. And I always enjoy this. So the challenge is forcing myself into the mindset, the whatever it is, forcing myself into that outside of winter, in the studio, in the nice weather in the summer. I don't know what it is. And now I'm cold. Got two paintings started. We'll assess how they look later on. But uh, definitely plan on coming back, coming back for another session. It's such a great spot. Standing here on the frozen, the frozen water. Too bad the bridge is right here, but eh, it's part of it. All right, I'm back for the second session, but I got here a little too late, um, and the light's not exactly what I'm wanting but um, I think I can still get some work done but my um, my water here that we were standing on is uh, looks a little thinner than it did yesterday so I'm gonna go test it out and uh, see how solid it feels
I don't think it's a good idea to stay on that. Okay, I think it's fine. It's a little sloshy, but it, um, it's pretty thick ice, so I think we'll be fine. Not only did I get here too... Hey, I really like a lot of the things. And like I said yesterday, there's something about the immediate sea that winter pushes you to. You're cold, it's uncomfortable, you're working fast. I, I don't know what it is, but I enjoy it a lot. And I enjoy, like, I enjoy what's happening like on the foreground and stuff. I don't know. I don't know if I call it finished. Um, I like to, like I said before, and I don't want to be so redundant always, but um, I like things that are happening. I don't want to just be out here and, and work over them just for the sake of being here. So it's only like a 10 minute or so session, but I, I kind of worked up on the, the trees. Um, they look much better. And we'll see how it holds together sitting in the studio. And if you're interested in studying with me, check the link down below. I've got uh, workshop dates for here in Montana for June and October. I have considered a winter workshop, but um, it's not happening this year. We're about to have a baby. I don't know, maybe a future we'll have a, a winter workshop. But um, also I have the online stuff. Um, if you are an experienced landscape painter, but you've never painted outdoors, or you're trying to think about going to paint plein air, my online course, seriously, is will be very helpful. Um, I geared it towards beginners because I think that it's a great place for beginners to start, but it forces you to be direct and um, simplified. And that's what you have to do when you're out here. Um, so those things are on uh, links down below if you're interested in them. So thanks for watching.